All right, hi everybody. So, Nate Hoffman here again. This video is in direct response to a question that I received about how to obtain a handwritten signature on my Google form for patient intakes. And I get the need to want to do this uh, by obtaining um, a handwritten signature. I know that there is some kind of conflicting talk out there about does it need to be handwritten or can I have them sign something electronically. The way that I do it is I do, you know, I'll put verbiage in, the, you know, I forget what mine says, but it's something along the lines is I recognize that by typing my full name that this is considered a legal document, yada, 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 something along those lines, okay? That's the way I do it. However, if you want to obtain an actual signature, there is a workaround. I actually have a brother who works at Google and I've been asking him, I was like, can you switch the form so there can be like a free writing section to it? And uh, anyway, so we'll, we'll see if that's something that's in the future, right? But for now, the best way to do it is to use an application on your phone. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is have the right application on your phone. Okay, so number one, you want to go to whatever store your phone has, whether you're on a Google or a Droid, and you want to pick up a scanner app. And you want to make sure that it has the capability of providing a signature. The one that I like to do the one that I like to use is iScanner. You can see it; it's at the very top of my screen and it looks like a little scanner, okay? So that's, that's the one that I like because it keeps all your data on your phone. Therefore, if you keep your phone at, or the app password protected, it's HIPAA compliant. Now, there are other ones out there that also have a fax capability to them. You're just going to want to make sure that if you're using it for, fax, for faxes that it's HIPAA compliant, okay? So I'm going to show you Eye scanner. But first, what I need to do, so we've talked about getting forms uh, made into PDFs and then those PDFs can actually pop up in your email. So let's say I had Miss Johnson or whatever and she filled, filled out everything but I left on my template, I left a place for her to sign and I want her to sign that when she comes in. Great, so what I do is I'm going to go to my email. Right here you can see, okay, there's my consent form. I'm going to click on that and then here on the bottom left hand, I have this box with an arrow. I'm going to click on that. When I click on that, I'm going to have, I'm going to have it sent. I'm going to push those three buttons. No, it's not pulling up there. Right here. Across the top here, I can send it to. It says copy to iScanner. Yes, that's what I want to do. So it's going to copy over to iScanner. So from here, then I can click on the document. And then I can push on this little pencil at the bottom. Oh, that's not the right one. Right there, those three dots off to the far right. And then from here, I can say sign that page. Okay, this was from a, di a previous one, so I want to clear it. And I'll put H Hoffman. Great. Done. And then from there, it creates a signature that you can then drag and drop wherever it needs to go. Okay? So there you have it. Easy peasy, right? So it's not too hard. Pretty simple stuff. You can see that it is one little extra step, but it's fairly quick, right? It doesn't take much to go to your email, send it, your HIPAA compliant email, I should say, send it over to your HIPAA compliant app, and then from there, have it signed. So, good luck. Happy G-Sweeting. Bye.